I'm employed here at the University of Manchester not only in the Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Environmental Sciences where I lecture, that's where I teach my courses on vertebrate paleontology and evolution. I'm also based here at the Manchester Museum and here is where I do a lot of my research on the wonderful collections. There is something in the region of four million objects held within the collections here at the Manchester Museum. It is a museum that's been in existence since the latter half of the 19th century. Four years ago, we brought Stan the T-Rex to Manchester. You'd be surprised to know that it came in boxes. It took us two hours to build, and uh, it was sort of self-assembly. There's over 200 bones in the skeleton of Stan, and we've got to fit them together into what is a dynamic running pose. This is based upon the research that we're doing here at the University of Manchester. We put the running speed of Tyrannosaurus Rex at approximately 18 miles per hour. That's as fast as a pro footballer can run. That's quite respectable for an animal that probably weighed in between five and seven and a half tons. Over the past two years, we've tried very hard at the University of Manchester to bring in new techniques into paleontology. So it's not so much a bunch of folks at the bottom of a hole digging for bones anymore. That's just part of the story. We want to take it to the next stage, the next level in terms of understanding of these wonderful fossils that we pull from the ground. The key thing is that these fossils can tell us so much about these extinct organisms. And by studying the bones and studying the associated sediments, the associated evidence, treating, I suppose, a dig site like the scene of a crime, we were able to piece together these shreds of evidence to a much more coherent story of what life was like in the prehistoric past of the planet. A lot of the methods that we use here at the University of Manchester are quite unique to this department. We've tried very hard to have an interdisciplinary approach where I'm not just working with other geologists and paleontologists, but engineers, physicists, chemists, and they're all bringing their own particular skills to the science of paleontology. So it's a very exciting time to be a paleontologist for the simple reason we're looking into areas of science now which we felt the doors were previously closed firmly shut to our own particular field of science. It's becoming very apparent that this is not the case.